Today I want to talk quickly about the intake of the air, which is the basis for the airstream that you want to develop to get a good sound on the instrument. Really, uh, this should be the least taxing and thought-provoking part of the airstream because all of us are born knowing how to breathe and we can do it in our sleep. It's only when you start getting an instrument in the way that this becomes a concern and in some cases a problem. The main message is to relax your body and to open your mouth when you breathe. Those, those two things will result in uh, solving most of the problems that you have. When I say open jaws, you should play with open jaws anyway. That's another subject. My, my teacher always said play uh, with your jaws open enough to put, put your little finger or a pencil eraser between your back molars. So that's, that's already open. Uh, slightly more open for the intake of the air. You could think of taking your clarinet barrel and breathing, breathing with that much openness. If you do that, you'll find that the breath sounds very clean and uh, unob unobstructed. If you record yourself playing and you hear a lot of breaths that sound <gasps> with that sort of sound, then you're not getting your jaws open and you're not getting air as efficiently as you need to. The re-intake after you start playing when you need a quick breath should be uh, very fast when you need it while still getting the same amount of air that you started with. So if you have a passage that requires a quick breath followed by an extended period of playing, you should be able to play just as long after that breath as you do for the initial breath. For instance, something like this. After that, you take another breath. It's it's really that simple. As far as um, often we hear from the teachers, you know, breathe into the diaphragm area, breathe into your stomach area. I wouldn't spend too much time concerning myself with that. Really, you should just take air into your mouth uh, in a relaxed way, and your body will put it where it's supposed to go. As long as you're not moving upper parts of your body, trying to raise your shoulders or broaden your chest, don't do any of that. Just relax, relax from the neck down, open your mouth and take air into it. And you should get a full breath very quickly. All that will set you up well for what's to come, which is to shape the oral cavity in order to uh, get the right airflow for engaging the reed. And we'll talk about that soon.